Hi everyone! So I wanted to start today's video with a brief history lesson because I think Minnesota and South Korea are actually much more connected than you might realize. So first of all, if we look back to the Korean War, um, obviously the US sent troops to aid South Korea at that time. But what most people don't realize is that the largest number of US troops actually came from right here in Minnesota. The reason being is that the climate in South Korea is very harsh, and I guess General MacArthur thought Minnesotans would be able to handle that type of climate much better since our climate here is actually very similar to the climate in South Korea. As a result, about 100,000 Minnesotans were sent to fight in the Korean War. Subsequently, because such a large number of Minnesotans were sent there, Minnesota also experienced the largest number of casualties during the Korean War. Now, because Minnesota already had that deep connection to South Korea at the time, Minnesotans also were the people that ended up adopting the largest number of Korean War orphans. Um, even today, Minnesota has the largest number of Korean adoptees. Even though the US government stopped tracking the specific number of adoptees in the early 2000s, it's estimated that there are about 20,000 Korean adoptees in Minnesota right now, and that about 50% of the Korean population here in Minnesota is actually adoptees. Additionally, Minnesota is kind of unique in that we don't really have a central hub for Koreans like uh, Koreatown in LA, for example. So Koreans in Minnesota are a bit spread out and it can be really hard for them to feel connected to their cultural roots. So the adoptee community here in Minnesota is doing something very interesting this year and that is they're hosting what is called the Kimchi Festival for the first time ever. And the purpose of the Kimchi Festival is to bring adoptees, adoptive families, and just Minnesotans in general together to learn more about Korean culture. And because Jun and I are in an international relationship, we thought it would be a really great opportunity for us to also go learn a little bit more about Korean culture. So we're going to bring you guys along with us and hopefully we can learn a thing or two together. So let's go. Wow. Wow, busy. Kimchi festival. Oh, there's a park. This looks like a blast and a half. 저희가 사실 이 행사를 위해서 빨간색 차를 타고 왔어요. 딱 김치 색깔이잖아요. 미국에서는 어, 번호판 알파벳을 고를 수가 있어요. 그래서 저희가 이차 번호판 이름을 김치로 바꾸려고 그러는데 제가 성공하면은 제가 영상으로 알려 드릴게요. Let's go. <웃음> They said it's the first ever kimchi festival, but there's so many people here. It's so exciting, actually. I hope it's successful so that they can do it again every year. Got two kimchi festival stickers to proudly display. Cute. Kimchi tasting booth, kimchi making. Taekwondo demonstration and a whole about kimchi section. The booth that I'm standing in front of right now, they give you some rice and then you can try the kimchi that was made by some of the people that helped with this festival, I guess. So I'm really excited. Let's try. What would you like to try? Everything. <laughs> Everything. All right. You want to start it from you all the way? Yeah, sure. All right, all right, all right. This is a cucumber one. I don't think I've ever had this before, actually. I've eaten a lot of kimchi, but I've never had this kind. Right. How do I eat this? Let's try. Yes. Mmm. Oh, it's perfect for summer. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Can I try the next one? Yeah, this is a green onion. Okay. All right. It's gonna be spicy. That's yeah, fine with me. Okay. Try the green onion. Yes. Let's try this uh, green onion kimchi. Pa kimchi? Yeah. It's a little. Do you want some more? Okay. No. Yeah, come back. Yeah, you come back. That one's 
spicy. Yeah, this one is spicy. It's good though, I like it. Here. So spicy, right? My lips are still burning. Okay. Um, who made these kimchis? We made it yesterday. You all made it yesterday? Yes, it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 p.m. Wow. Well, thank you so much for making it and sharing it with us. Yeah, that actually smells really good. Thank you. It's not spicy at all. So it's good. Oh, those are the one the side dishes over there. Okay, cool. Yeah, can I taste that? I can't believe they made it yesterday. Okay, so that's so much work. Wow. Oh, the cucumber? Yeah. I'm sweating a little bit now. The the pak and cheese is a little spicy for me. <laughs> but as you know, I am the kimchi ambassador. So I must. I cannot let it go to waste. I have to eat it all. <laughs> Okay. If you mix that and this, it will be medium. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I got a lot of sauce. Yeah, this is a Tonga kimchi. I don't know. Tonga, Tonga means it's a single man. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this <laughs> name. Bachelor, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a whole thing. Oh, you're gonna give me the whole one? Yeah, so right now. Wow. Look at this thing. My mouth is so spicy. <laughs> okay, how, how should I go about eating this one? I have kimchi red pepper paste in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's my wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are a very lucky man. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm is here. lucky. I'm here all the time. <laughs> oh, no problem. You're so proud, right? Yeah. <laughs> blend together. Okay. When you blend it, you put some of these. Oh yeah, these always scare yeah. me. <laughs> I, I um, oh, yeah. always buy this brand. This brand? You yeah. like this one the best? Yeah. Yeah. You own this company? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you okay? It's hot. I like yeah. spicy food. I'm okay. Yeah. okay. I did live in Korea, I so I ate a lot of Korean food. I wish she wanted to know a little bit more about it, but she, she doesn't. That's fine. But yeah. I'm okay, that's a little spicy. Do you have any questions or anything? I've yeah. never eaten it straight like this. Do you want to try it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Bye. Well, maybe the... Yeah, good. Good? You approve? Yeah. <laughs> it's fishy. That means yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's good. I feel like now I've got the expert's uh, recipe. I think I can make it myself. Hi. Hi. Do you mind being in a video? We can always blur your face if you don't want your face. In I don't mind. Do you mind? Awesome. Not a bit. Have we ever made kimchi before? Never. Never. I eat kimchi. I love kimchi. You do? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you know what's in the kimchi? Uh, why, why is it so healthy? Uh, I thought it was healthy because it's really fermented. And I guess probiotic. so. Yeah, lots of probiotics. That's right. And also you're all natural ingredients too. Exactly. And naturally fermented. So it tastes good, good for you. Why not, right? Exactly. We've never made kimchi before because it's just my husband and I living together. So the process is like very tiring just to make it for us. Oh, I see. One nice thing about kimchi, mm. you can keep as long as you want. Do you like medium hot or spicy? I want spicy. I like spicy kimchi. Oh, thank you. Kimchi making is really hard. Yeah. It's like they did the hard part for us though because you already uh, soaked and washed the, the cabbage and prepared the sauce. What do you need to do is to mix all together. Mix it around? My job is so easy. So you wanna fill this? I can read the signs now, I just don't know what it means. Go ahead and you're making it. 
Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. oh, it's so cool. It just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, this, this texture is so interesting. Mm -hmm. So this is your husband? Wow. Yes, this is my husband. Oh, good looking couple here. <laughs> Thank you. Can you get my hair out of my face too? It's all stuck all over my face. Let's Gotta be careful. Let's try. Oh, it's spicier than I thought. Oh, it's good though. Spicy. I asked for spicy and now it's really spicy. I think I like fermented kimchi more though. The fresh is good. I can't wait to taste it later. Oh, that's spicier than any kimchi I ate in Korea. Do you want to make more? You can fill your jar. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do you want to bring that with you? Yes. Yeah. We eat kimchi every day. Oh, you do? We need a large supply. Oh, okay. Kimchi is expensive here. I know. So now we learn. We can make it home. They did the hard part, though. I didn't do the hard part. Can you just come to my house next time and help me? <laughs> I give you my phone number. Oh, really? Yeah, I give you a demonstration. A yes. to Z. Perfect. <laughs> I can't wait. Z, you ask, you shall receive. <laughs> the best. Thank you so much. It charges $50 an hour. $50 an hour? Is that good enough? Yes. <laughs> For you? Oh, oh, you're yeah. too kind. So there's a trash can. Would you mind wipe it off with everything? Yes, I, I can clean it. What? Can oh, you? Yeah, nice. I can clean okay. it. Hold on, though. Let her clean it. Okay. It's okay. Make sure I got it okay. okay. They are filming, so. They are filming. So you want me to get out of the way? <laughs> oh. wow. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. Don't worry, no, you're fine. Know. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going fast, as fast as I can. Oh, no, 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 no worries. Okay. Um, pack them in the bags, I guess. Yeah. Kimchi. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I should be filming next to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we should. Here. Hi, so Korean auntie now. She can help me next time. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. <laughs>I'm Janice Garrard and I wrote this children's book and it is in English and Korean and the reason that I wrote it was because when I was growing up I was not a, uh, exposed to any Korean language and so this way children who have been adopted want to learn about the Korean language here you go You're you guys amazing. the important part is she's a doctor so make sure to remember that <laughs> I have a doctorate she's very, she's in a education huge credible. So, she's very yeah. credible. <laughs> amazing Annyeonghaseyo hello this is Travis and Kyle we are both artists and we focus on hyper-realistic drawings, acrylic work, airbrush work. So I also wanted to mention that we actually have our own channel as well. Our channel is Korean Adoptee Stories and we interview a lot of adoptees. Uh, we found that with adoption there's quite a few adoptees that struggled unfortunately and did not have the best kind of life and unfortunately and a lot of them had mental health issues. We felt like it was important because us we kind of struggled with that uh, before one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Hana, do we set? Oh, just kidding, another one? Okay, oh, okay. one more time. Oh, one more time? Okay. Hana, okay. okay. do we set? set. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. You're selling kimchi and gochujang. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Have bye a great bye. day. Bye bye. So we're walking away with even more kimchi. She's very confident about her kimchi, so we had to get some. And she has a physical location too, so if we like it, we know where to go now. I'm learning all the local secrets. It's awesome. Actually, I'm so excited. I make kimchi jjigae every day of the week now with all of our kimchi. Guys, we had so much fun here at the Kimchi Festival today. I didn't expect it to be this crowded and 
uh, vibrant, but I'm so glad that it was. For the first kimchi festival, this definitely seems like it was a success. But oh, so great. Really nice to see the Korean adoptee community come together to host such an awesome event. And yeah, just a great day overall. Hope you guys enjoy coming along with us. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye.